Hi, I'm Doug from Dynamic Computing, and welcome to episode 152 of 10 Minute Amiga Retrocast. This week I want to talk about a, a product that Commodore came out with back in the day in the early 90s uh, that they didn't actually manufacture, they just uh, used somebody else's part and rebranded them. And I'm talking about the Commodore A10 speakers. Let's take a quick look at them. Here's the little beauties right here. Now I picked these up at Amy West uh, last year uh, in uh, Amy West 2022, just a couple of bucks. And you can see there's a nice little Commodore logo, Commodore stereo speakers, A10, DXBB, volume control. Each speaker is independently controlled. So it has an independent volume control. And if you look around the back, you can even turn the speaker on and off independently. There's a left amp and a right amp button that turns the left or the right speaker off. There's a treble boost. Now these work on a DC six volt center negative. So the adapter's a little different because most, most adapters are center positive. You, I picked this one up off of Amazon. It was like seven or eight bucks. You can also put in a set of uh, C batteries, uh, two in each one, and that will give the little guys the power to run. These little speakers use the standard RCA jacks here. Uh, the white one should be left and the, the black one should be right. Why they didn't use a red one, who knows. They connect up to the back here. Uh, so this cord right here connects to the speakers. This one, so this cord right here, this connects right up to the back of the Amiga. And then this cord passes the signal on to the other speaker. So this is the primary speaker, the right speaker. And this is the secondary speaker, the left speaker. Now, mine are in pretty poor shape. You can see a lot of scratching on here. You can see that the, uh, the front uh, metal bezel is bent out of shape here. So these need a really nice little cleanup job in order to be useful, but I thought they were cute. But let me show you the biggest problem I have with them. This is the new Xevious port to the Amiga 1200 or Amiga 4000 by JOTD. I'll put a link in the description. It's a, an actual port from the actual original game code and it works beautifully. Put in a coin, but listen, music sounds good. Traditional Xevious music. And you can hear the little uh, annoying tune in the background there. Problem is you can't hear anything fire. You can't hear my, uh, my ship fire. You can't hear my bombs drop, although you can hear the explosions. Let's give it a listen. No sound, but the explosions. And the reason for that is the following. It appears that the right speaker is just not speakering. I, I can get a hum out of it when I unplug the uh, speaker cords from the back, the speakers uh, become un ungrounded apparently, and I can hear a hum coming from it, but I get absolutely no audio at all from the right speaker, which makes me sad because obviously we want stereo. So let's take this little speaker apart and see if there's something internally that we can fix in it. So these are actually just lab tech speakers. And I used to sell these back in the uh, early to mid 90s, probably 93, 94, somewhere in that area. Um, I worked at a computer store and we sold them in our uh, with some of our PCs. And they're not bad speakers. They're not fantastic speakers. They're certainly not bad speakers. We just have a couple of screws here in the back to take out. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those and we're gonna see what's going on inside. So after some trial and error, it looks like it's the actual speaker cords that go from the, um, the back of the Amiga into the right speaker that's bad. Because sometimes when I've got this plugged in, I can fiddle around to the very end of the cable and boom, the right speaker starts to uh, activate. Uh, but it's very, very sensitive. So what I'm assuming is that something inside of here has just loosened up. Maybe the, uh, the grounding connection, something's loosened up and it's just really poor. Now, sure, you could, in theory, cut this off and redo it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take another uh, RCA set of cables, cut them up. See, we've got uh, the blue one here, which is the right one. 
and the white one, which is the left one. And then we have two uh, little grounding areas that are coming out of it here too. Those little wires popping up. And uh, the blue connects right to there. Well, get that out of the way. The blue connects right to there. And the white connects right to here. And then uh, the grounding connects right to there. So I'll just resolder a, a new connector on there. And we're going to see if these things just play normally. Now the wire that I'm going to use here is substantially thicker than the original. The original went through a little tiny hole right there, right above the on-off switches. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this top hole. This is just uh, like a decayed piece of uh, double sticky back tape for some reason, but it goes all the way through. So I'll just run the cables through there. It'll be absolutely perfectly fine. Yeah, we'll just go right through there. And I'm sure I'll be able to uh, work the cables down here so they're relatively neat. Go through the back of the, uh, the unit. And then the way this went on this little circuit board is it went through a little hole right here. See that little tiny hole? And the two cables went right through that little hole who knows if I'll have enough room to get both of them through there easily, but uh, I will find a way to get them through. By cutting off the, the ends of both of these cables, it should give me plenty of room to fit these two little cables and then these two grounding cables, which can then be tied together and grounded on the, on the board uh, right through the little hole. I might need to make these a little bit longer, but we shall see. And I actually think that's going to work okay. See, I've come down through the hole here, and I've got my red one that's going to attach right to here. And I've got my white one that's going to attach down here. And then I've got my grounding cable that I've already uh, tied together from both. They were, it was like that on the original one. The two were tied together when they came out. I'll just pull out the old soldering iron and just do a quick little solder job. I won't show that on video, but uh, I'll be back and we'll see if this actually works. And now listen closely to our Zevius. Can you hear the little fire now? Nice. And we'll drop the little bombs. Yay! We have stereo back on our little Commodore A10 speakers. I'm just thrilled. And I currently have uh, invincibility mode on on here, so I can't die. I wanted to do that, so when I was testing the speakers, I didn't have to die every three seconds. But uh, this is actually an absolutely brilliant game, and I'm thinking I'll probably do a maybe a full review on it soon. Huge thanks to my absolutely wonderful patrons, who you see scrolling over a game of uh, Xevious on the Amiga 1200 here in full stereo sound now, now that we fixed those speakers. Uh, if you'd like to join in the fun, pop on over to patreon.com forward slash tenmark for more information. So we've got the stereo back working again on our little Commodore A10 speakers. They're cute. The sound is fine, perfectly fine, nothing to write home about, but it is a little better than the internal speakers on some of the monitors like the 1084S. It does have a little more volume than, than that. Uh, what am I going to do with these little guys now? Well, first thing I'm going to do is clean them up because they're absolutely filthy. So I'm thinking I'll probably use a magic eraser on them since those are lightly abrasive. See if I can get some of the stuff off. I might have to dig a little bit deeper and, and find another way to get, get the, uh, the crud off these. Um, and the, the grills in the front are a little bit bent and uh, I'm going to see if I can maybe get those straightened out a little bit. I can go in through the back and remove the speaker and push it out maybe. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll post pictures of my uh, completed speakers up on uh, my Instagram and my Twitter and my Mastodon. All the links are right in the description. Uh, so that's it for today in this short little episode. So until next time, this is Doug from 10 Minute Amiga Retrocast signing out.